Hey, welcome to Abby's Den. I'm Abby. Today I'm looking at a couple of machines. They're sort of an intermediate level machine or classed as a sort of more advanced sewer from your beginner. So you've improved your technique, you've improved your sewing, you're quite confident and you know that this hobby of sewing is for you. So you want to invest a little bit more in your machine. So what I'm here to tell you today is have a think about what you're buying. I've got two machines here, one that is well-recognised brand and one that maybe isn't quite so recognised. It's been around 100 years, the Necky brand, but it sort of went into decline, it went into hiding. We didn't see very much of it and now it's coming back. So Necky bought out a whole road, uh, load of machines. Their interior is fantastic. It's all metal and the framework is just beautiful and sleek. You've got this Brother sewing machine which is being sold and currently out on the market. It's been around for a few years so it's not so much innovation anymore because we've got new machines. The problem is with keeping a model out for a long time is they, the company becomes lazy. It becomes very complacent and it just accepts that their customers have brand loyalty and they're coming back. But that's not necessarily the case. Um, I like to shop around. I never buy a machine because I go for the brand name. I go for a model that works for me. So I will look for something new. I will look for something a bit different. So even though this machine offers my uh, me some fonts and I've got five different fonts, two of those fonts are not English. You've got Russian and you've got Japanese. I don't speak Russian or Japanese. So these both have three different fonts that I can use. So the advantage the Neki has, it offers lowercase as well as the uppercase in the three fonts. The brother only does uppercase. Now there's 140 kinds of stitches on this one, which is great. 10 of those though are buttonholes and a couple others are customized stitch or button uh, stitches. So the number of stitches has already gone down by uh, a lot. Whereas this one's got over 400 stitches. It offers me 30 buttonholes, but the neck it gives you an electronic buttonhole foot. Um, I've been able to punch out buttonholes on various types of fabrics perfectly from jersey right to leatherettes every time perfect no problems so this is a customer aware brand I would say they load up the bobbin with a thread and they've stitched out a few of the stitches that gives me the confidence that this brand recognizes me as a beginner on maybe the top loading machine. This is the next level up, so I'm not on a beginner machine anymore, but I'm the next level up. And maybe I was using a front loading machine before, so I've never used a top loader, and they've prepared me already by threading up the machine. It's nothing rocket science, but it makes a big difference, especially as times like this during the COVID crisis. You can't go out to lessons to get that one-to-one -one personal interaction. Um, to be able to someone to sit by my side and hold my hand while I learn how to thread up the machine. They're doing that for me. They're taking away my job as a sewing teacher and preparing this machine ready for the user to use. They've offered a lot more features with this machine as well. I've got a table with a walking foot and an embroidery foot. So they've readied me for a quilting session and free motions uh, and free motion. Whereas with this machine, with the brother, I would have to buy a separate quilting table. And they don't come cheap. It's a bit of plastic, but they charge you £65 for it. And in fact, you can buy the kit for £150 and you get a walking foot and the embroidery foot. So it's quite extortionate. So what what I think is companies like this are just trying to bleed more money out of me. And it's evidence in cases that after sales, though, I will say is very important as well. And having looked at both brands, I would say the customer service to me is vital. I would never, for example, recommend Janome because their customer service, their after sales is not the best trying to phone them up last week for advice on a machine that I wanted and it took me three phone calls and then finally an email to get through to somebody for a response 
and that's not good enough. You want to be able to ring a hotline and be able to get through to somebody. Whereas Neki, I can contact somebody. I think I contacted somebody through um, Facebook and I was given a response immediately. And you want that customer service and Brother give you that customer service too. You can get that straight away. I've had machines repaired the next day with them. So those give me the confidence to buy from them. And that's what you want to consider, those sorts of things. Will they look after me? The other things you want to think about are, what is this machine doing for me? What do I want from the machine? Do I want to make clothes? Will it give me that space I need? Will I make quilts? Do I want to be able to sew roll hems? You know, do I need to buy attachments? You might get attachments that you'll never use. And quite often you get to keep that you don't always want or don't always need. So when you go shopping, forget about the brand name because what happens with the brands is they're all interchangeable. Now you will see me review a machine and the comments I read underneath, and I do read all the comments. If I review a machine, I see lots of comments say, that looks just like this machine and that looks like that machine. And I've had that machine before, but it was branded something else. And you will find that this, if you watch YouTube videos, you can see this machine being used by lots of different people, but it has the baby lock name. And that's not always brilliant because you might have paid £600 and the baby lock machines might be pitched at £400. So you're paying for a brand name. The way industry is now is there are a limited number of factories that produce these machines because the machine is not sold enough for everyone to build a factory the technology is there in limited amount of factories so you'll find that brother and perhaps baby lock use the same manufacturing company so they'll all design their machines and they go say to the same factory and they'll say just give us that now one of the other situations is a little bit different like janome so janome have the model in john lewis and it's at £130, but then they bring out a machine that's a 219S, is exactly like for like inside, and that's £30 cheaper. Then you have another model that came out a couple of years ago, and that's like for like actually replacing another machine that had been out two years earlier. Um, so to me, again, that's just laziness, but they just price it differently. I've seen it for £289, I've seen it for £99. So it's all internally exactly the same. It's just the front looks different, so we think it's different. It's fresh, it's clean, it's new, and that's all it is. It's just got a new face on it, but inside you've got the same machine. So look around, shop around, think about what you need, Think about what you're after. Don't be swayed by the brand name. Just look at what you're getting for the money that you're giving. Because now with the COVID crisis, I've definitely noticed a fluctuation in prices. So hopefully now you know my point of view on what to do when you go shopping for your machine. Shop around, look around and make sure you test the machine that works for you. And not because you're told to. Take care.